alligator. Who knows what this is? It's a baby alligator. It is a baby American alligator. How did you know it was an alligator and not a crocodile? I just guessed. You just guessed. Well, that's a good guess, honey. How do you tell? Snout. Hey, if you look at that snout, do you see how it looks like a U and not like a V? Okay? U-shaped is an alligator. V-shaped is a crocodile. Also, look at those teeth. See those teeth, how they look kind of just nice and straight, like they fit just perfect when he closes his mouth, right? And that is true. A crocodile actually goes up and down and in and out and left and right in every different direction. Okay, when an alligator gets bigger, it actually turns like a bluish gray color. A crocodile turns more of a yellow brown. Now, what does a gator eat? Anybody have any ideas what a gator eats? Fish. Yes. What else? Okay. Other animals. That's the word I'm looking for is meat. A lot of people say meat. Okay. But I can't go to McDonald's and buy this guy some chicken nuggets and say, here you go. Because he's not going to eat it. Or he might eat it, but it's not healthy for him. Okay. Believe it or not, every reptile has to have a thing called calcium. Okay. For him to get his calcium, he actually has to eat meat with bones in it. Or have to have a supplement like we have here called crocodilian diet. And what that is, is it's a pellet that floats that make everything nutritious for the gators that we have. So it has its calcium and everything it needs in that pellet. But this guy here would have to eat um, animals, other animals to actually get that calcium. So fish would be a good example of a food source for him. What else? What else do you think he could eat? Uh, small animals that he can Okay, so small animals like a bunny or a squirrel or a bird or a chipmunk. Um, I have a five and a half footer at home and he's actually gotten some of his own of those. Okay, what else? Yes, male alligators will try to get smaller uh, alligators. What else? What is, what is it? Bugs. I, I can't hear you. Bugs? Yeah, bugs? Yeah, when they're this size, they're going to eat bugs and like little minis and stuff. Okay, what else? Whenever he gets bigger? A mouse? That's very good. Go ahead. A zebra? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Crocodiles like zebras. I don't know about alligators. But alligators, what about deer? Okay, deer would be a good one for him. Okay, yeah? Baby chipmunk? What about a chicken? You think yeah. maybe? Or a duck? Yeah. Okay, so those are the things that they're going to eat. A lot of people are like, people. Okay, alligators really don't like people, okay? They're called opportunists. So if the opportunity is there for somebody or something to eat, it's going to, and it's hungry, it's going to go for it. But it does not want to eat people. So if you ever go to a state where these guys are present, make sure you check the water before you go in, okay? Even if it's a swimming pool. Just look, because even though these guys are cold-blooded, they do like their water. They do, after their body reaches a certain temperature, they like to cool down as well. So, and number one rule, do not swim at nighttime in places where these guys live. Okay, because they are dominant in water. They really, really like their water. Now, how big is this guy going to get? Probably like about this big. He's going to get way bigger, honey. Like, Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. About 20 foot is about the normal size. Hey, they like, now if you see one that's way, way, way bigger, that's usually a crocodile. Crocodiles are more aggressive too. Um, these guys tolerate things, okay? So just keep in mind, the more you feed them and they're not as hungry, the better off they are, the happier they are. Now, what I would like for everybody to do is get to touch this guy, but under one condition. Hey, this guy is alive. 
okay? And he can use that mouth. And remember, where is a gator most dangerous? Mouth. And that mouth when he comes down, okay? Even though he's still a baby, he can still hurt somebody, okay? So we're not gonna touch the head. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fingers like this and we're just gonna feel this tail. We're not gonna squeeze, we're not gonna pull because if we squeeze or pull, what's gonna happen? No, it won't come off, but he's gonna get very angry and he's gonna try to bite my fingers, okay? And I have 10 fingers and I've had them for a very long time and I'd like to keep them, okay? So we're gonna use our listening ears and just use our fingers and go like this, okay? So I will start um, down here, and then I'll work my way up. So everybody stay where they are, and I'll come to you, okay? He will not hurt you, honey. I got him. What does he feel like? Kind of like rubbery. He's anywhere from a hashling to maybe acorns. He says, I feel warm. Michael, they would touch the I like the sun. Yeah,